اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ان الحمد للہ نحمد ہو و نستعین ہو و نستغفر و نعوذ باللہ من شرور انفسنا و من سیئیات اعمالنا من یحده اللہ فلا مدل للہ و من یدلل فلا حادی للہ و اشہد واللہ الہ الا اللہ وحده لا شریک للہ لح الملک و لح الحمد یخی و یمیت و هو على كل شيء قدير و اشهد ان محمدا عبده و رسوله بعد اعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب اشرح لي صدري و يسر لي امري و احلل اقداة من لساني يفقه قولي رب يسر و لا تؤسر و تمم بالخير السلام عليكم ورحمة الله so yesterday in our class uh, we learned that the surf is basically breaking down the word to its root and to study the root and the shape of the word okay and what change a word went through in its different phases so study of basically the word is called surf okay and we so that uh, most of the word, uh, word in Arabic, uh, we can do surf of, right? There are some word, uh, there are few words, like uh, you can say less than 5% of the word in Arabic that you cannot uh, do surf with them, but rest uh, all, most of the word you can do surf, okay? You can do surf. And those word uh, we can do surf of, we need to look for two elements in them okay we have to look for two elements to think the thing we have to see the first one is uh, you have to see the root you have to identify the root uh, root of a word and the second thing is uh, you have to identify the shape or the family which family does the word belong to okay so these two things we have to find out First of, the, uh, first of all, in every word, we have to find out what is the root of this word and what is the family, which family does the word belong to. And in combination of both things, the meaning of the word will depend. Okay? So same root in different family can cause different meaning. And same uh, uh, family in diff with different root will cause different meanings. Okay? So those words we can do surf uh, and root word we uh, told you right the most of the Arabic word root word is a three rooted word three rooted word there is sometimes sometimes four rooted word but most of the time the root word is a root letter at three okay and based on the root letter we divided uh, the surf or divided the family of the word we can do surf in two categories and those are uh, mujarrad and mazid okay mujarrad and mazid and mujarrad uh, is basically uh, it means naked that means there is no extra harf attached to the original root there is no extra root if the root is three letter there is only three letter will be there like nasara right we know that like nasara there is no extra harf so that this is a what you call a mujarrad family and uh, there are six mujarrad family okay mujarrad family there there are six mujarrad family okay and all those six mujarrad family is considered family number one okay family number one and we'll uh, discuss that in our last class of surf, the family one. But the Majid family, Majid family is those family who, those who has an extra letter in uh, in the root. Like if you see, say, Allama, right? Allama. So Allama, Allama has extra shadda on its uh, middle, middle letter. And we know in Arabic, every uh, word every root is considered uh, it's compared with ayn lam and mim right sorry fa ayn and lam fa ayn and lam 
fail right so every word every har haraf is uh, compared with either fa ain and lam so in its ain kalima in alama family has a shadda and this is its identification mark okay so alama family so alama is a majid family okay there are also many majid family majid family uh, uh, is about nine nine of them okay there are nine of the majid family and we'll uh, yesterday we st uh, started our first majid family and there, uh, that is the allama family or family number two okay we have studied uh, the family number two and family number two uh, we talked yesterday the family two is a contemporary way of saying uh, this is allama family okay so uh, in in uh, modern in modern arabic uh, dictionaries you will find this family is calling family two or there is another way of saying family two it's fa ain and lam right every uh, every word they compared with fa ain and lam right and they will say it like allama fa ala they will say fa ala family okay so either they will call it family number two or they will call it fa'ala family okay in modern uh, dictionaries so you have to know both actually not because it has any implication it just you have to know because uh, they will just say it's from fa'ala family then then you have to know oh it's uh, it's the allama family or it's for, from family to uh, in dictionary you open a word and you say uh, you find what and ain lam and mim but that's it they just wrote three letters and say it's mean uh, uh, family two family two and it's mean to teach then you will be confused what is ain lam and mim and what is family two and what is to teach so you have to understand ain lam and mim these three uh, are three letters if they fall in family two that means they they gonna be write it like allama like that and it then it's mean to teach or he taught right so we have studied uh, this thing yesterday uh, i hope you memorize this uh, group if uh, this family and the family is called bab right the family is called bab and the family member are called siga so allama is a siga of family two okay and if any word pattern match with allama then its mudari will be yuallimu we have studied this thing yesterday so allama yuallimu allama yuallimu fa'ala yufa'ilu baddala yubaddilu bashara yubashiru right like this pattern and the masdar we talked yesterday that the masdar is the idea of the action the allama means to he taught you allama means he teaches so what is the act name the, what is the idea of the act to teach right to teach or teaching and that is called the masdar and masdar most of the time come as nasab most of the time uses as nasab that's why it's put here as nasab and one another thing about masdar when you conjugate the masdars you do uh, the singular Rafana Sabjar, that means uh, uh, Ta'limun, Ta'liman, Ta'limin. Then you do dual Rafana Sabjar, Ta'limani, Ta'limaini, Ta'limaini. And when you go to plural, there is no masculine plural for that. No masculine plural, okay? So only feminine plural. So it's Ta'limatun, Ta'limatin, Ta'limatin, okay? So singular is masculine, dual is masculine. When it comes to plural, there only be feminine plural. And there is a reason behind it. Uh, the reason is uh, we studied in our status uh, class that the masculine plural is only used for humans or the one those has souls, those has life. But this isn't just an idea. So idea cannot be in masculine plural. That's why it doesn't have any masculine plural, okay? So, allama yuallimu taliman, and the one who do the act is called ism file, right? 
the one who do this verb is name is ism fa'il and ism fa'il is a maf uh, mu'allimun so we made the rhyme allama yu'allimu ta'liman fa huwa mu'allimun fa huwa means so he is mu'allim so he is a teacher the one who do the teaching is called teacher this makes sense right allama yu'allimu ta'liman fa huwa mu'allimun then we made the passive line okay this is how the second line is the passive line so we know how to make madi passive is u and e so ullima and then yu'allamu yu'allamu then ta'liman is the same masdar is the same and mu'allamun mu'allamun and we taught yesterday how to make some file too right do you guys remember how to make some file is the yu'allimu the fail mudari and you change the you change the ya to mim so it's become mu'allimun mu'allimun same as uh fail mudari just change the ya to mim mu'allimun okay so mu and e mu and e is isam fa'il and isam maful is the same just mu and a okay mu and a isam maful is mu and a okay so mu and e is some file mu and a is a maful is a maful means passive doer you understand so ullima means he was taught he was taught it's passive right you allimu means he is being taught so who is the the one who is being taught is called what muallim muallam muallam is the student so is some file is the active doer and uh, is a maful basically means the passive doer or passive done to you can say that so allama yu'allimu ta'liman fa huwa mu'allimun ullima yu'allamu ta'liman fa huwa mu'allamun then come the amr amr and nahi we know how to build it we build it from the fail mudari uh fail mudari in an uh, anta second person and all we remove the ta from the beginning and if it's readable then the, uh, this is our command if it's not readable then we add an alif but here if we remove the ta from here it's become tu'allimu right and we, if we make it lightest it become tu'allim and let me write it down then so it's anta tu'allimu right tu'allimu so what uh, what was our step first make it a uh, lightest then remove the ta okay and if it's readable then this is our command and it is perfectly readable allim so allim is the command so allim is the command and so we got al amru al amru the amr minhu from this group so al amru minhu allim we just making it rhyme to memorize al amru minhu allim the amr min means from from who from this family is allim al amru minhu allim wa nahi anhu la tuallim wa nahi and the nahi anhu from it or okay the nahi anhu la tuallim is la tuallim la followed by lightest is the nahi we know how to make this one la tuallim and the zarf zarf basically means the time and place of the act is being done right they have word for everything they have word for everything every single thing they has word for arabic uh, vocabulary is so rich so rich so allama means what to teach right he taught so they have even a word for the time the teaching is done do you have any word in english for that no i i, I don't know i don't know maybe but i don't think there is a a word for the time that is when the uh, teaching is done okay you can say teaching time but it's not one word but in arabic they have a word for that 
that call isam zarf isam zarf is basically the time the act is done or the place the act is done okay both of thing come together so the time and the place the act is done is called isam zarf and isam zarf in this majid family all those majid family you know the family mujarrad family and the majid family all majid family their isam zarf is same as isam maful okay their zarf is same as isam maful so it's same uh, muallamun okay muallamun so whole set again in one poem is allama yuallimu ta'liman fa huwa muallimun ullima yuallamu ta'liman fa huwa muallamun al amru minhu allim wa nahwan hu la tu'allim wa zarfu minhu muallamun okay you have to memorize it like this do you guys so you guys can say it with me is allama yuallimu ta'liman fa huwa muallimun ullima yuallamu ta'liman fa huwa muallamun al amru minhu allim wa nahwan hu la tu'allim wa zarfu minhu muallamun okay so actually you have to memorize just these three part from every family these three word from every family and rest of them you can uh, if you know the grammar you can make it but these three word you have to memorize allama yuallimu ta'lima and the fun fact about the uh, majid families all majid families if you know just any word from anywhere like uh, someone say you muallamun uh, then you can uh, uh, easily identify all other words is muallamun that means it is from allama family so the first word gonna be allama so the fel madi is allama if the fel madi is allama then fel mudar is yuallimu okay then the master will be ta'liman so any word uh, where you find the word allim over anywhere then you can easily say oh it's the uh, fel amr from uh, family 2 so the first word gonna be allama okay the root is ain lam and mim so i i have to put ain lam and mim and then put shadda in the middle one and fatha all over so this is our fel madi and if you got the fel madi then rest of the thing you can uh, just know you know all the, all those stuff do you guys understand do you guys have any questions no okay so this surf business surf business is basically an oral exercise you have to like practice it say it with different uh, roots different words because unless you say it and unless you hear it if you have partners you say it to someone else then they say to say say, say it to you and with uh, in this way you can really be good at surf otherwise if you just uh, stay quiet and just listen to it you you never gonna learn surf properly to be good at surf you need to say it and say it out loud so even you can hear yourself okay other otherwise you cannot uh, learn surf surf is basically an oral exercise so i'll prefer after every sala when you do zikir like subhanallah alhamdulillah that's good and after those zikir one family a day or one family after each salah and that's how you gonna memorize those stuff so you have to say it. so let's practice with some other words with the same family okay you guys memorize uh, the whole thing whole chart okay let's practice with this word okay if i uh, tell you put ba dal and lam three root word right 
three root. Okay, so I got the root and I need a family and I say family two. Okay, I say put this three root word in family two or Allama family, okay, Allama family. I told you guys, put this three root word to family two or Allama family. So how it gonna be sound like? Baddala. Baddala, yeah. So go ahead, do the whole sarf sagir. Sarf sagir means, you know, the whole thing. Sarf sagir means, Allama uh, yuallimu ta'aliman fa huwa muallimun. Ullima yuallamu ta'aliman fa huwa muallamun. Al-amru minhu allim, wa nahiwan hu la tu'allim, wa zarfu minhu muallamun. Those three lines is the sarf, as you sarf sagir. Okay, sarf sagir. Okay, and if I say you uh, those words like Allama, in and itself it's Fel Madi, right? And it has its own chart, right? Fel Madi, then Yuallimu has its own chart, Fel Mudari chart, okay? So if I say you do all of those, go first Allama, do its chart. Go Yuallimu, do its chart. Go to Ta'lim and do its chart. That will call Sarf Kabir, okay? Kabir means big, right? So Kabir is everything. And Sarf Sagir is just the basic 10 words. So go do Sarf Sagir with Badal and Lam. Go ahead. What will the Felmadi? You there? Okay, let me help you out with the first word. It's gonna be Baddala. Okay, Allama Baddala. Allama, see the word is here. Allama, so badala, badala. If the first word is badala, then the what gonna be the next word? You badilu, you badilu, badala, you badilu. What is what gonna be the master? Batalan. No. Allama, you allim. What is the master? Taaliman. Taaliman. So what it gonna be? Tabdilan. Tabdilan, yes, Tabdilan. Baddala yubaddilu Tabdilan. Fahua? Mubaddilun. Mubaddilun. Mu and E. Mu and E. Mubaddilun. Perfect. And then the passive line? Baddilu. No, no, no. Buddila. Buddila. Dila. U and E, right? Passive is U and E for Felmadi. Buddila, you baddalu, abdilan, fahua mubaddalun. Okay? Al amru minhu. What is the amr? Uh, baddal. Baddil. Why baddal? Baddil. Wanahiwan hula to bad deal to bad deal was our fumin who was our fumin who mubaddala mubaddalun mubaddalun okay now come to the meaning okay now come to the meaning badala if you use these three root in family two it will become uh, the meaning will become to change what to change okay to change now tell me what is baddala means changed 
he changed because fell madi has an inside door right allama means he taught so badala means he changed okay you badilu means he changed he changed yes and uh, tabdilan means changing changing or to change yeah it is the idea of changing okay they have <laughs> word for everything and uh, what is mubaddil mubaddilun see you don't have any english terminology for those kind of word to you have to say the person who is ch who change changer right? no you cannot say changer changer means someone who changed something but some, the person who is being changed okay oh okay the change or you can say even changer may probably he changed okay so this is the way you have to do it okay if you know just the root and how the uh, system work then you can use just three root you know this three root means to change right ba da lebong and lam means to change in family too and now you can make the present you can make the past you can make even passive you can you you can uh, you even know the time of being changed what you what you going to call it the time or the place where the change happened you don't have any english terminology for that but arabic they do have a, ter a term for that the zarf ism zarf zarfu minhu mubaddalun okay mubaddalun so is basically nothing i the teaching you guys i can even go through all the group today okay it's basically up to you to practice it unless you practice it it's not going to benefit you at all okay so badala now go to the next I, i'm going to teach you like one or two and uh, you have to practice by yourself okay so ba ba shin and ra okay ba shin and ra put it in the same family bashara bashara yubashiru yubashiru tabshiran tabshiran fahuwa so he is mubashirun mubashirun yes so the one congratulate you uh, what is its arabic mubashirun yes mubashirun see you just know a root and you can make words right okay mubashirun okay go ahead how what is the passive line um u and e u um bushira bushira then passive mudari u and a bushira um bush bush shari no no why bush shari this passive mudari mudari yubashiru was the mudari so it's gonna be yubasharu yubasharu then was the master again tabshiran tabshiran how 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 going to say uh, someone who is being congratulated see you don't have in here a english term for that right you have to say so many words someone who is being congratulated but they have a single term for that what is that is a mafool mubasharun mubasharun perfect what is the amr if you want to command someone you congratulate how you going to say it bashir bashir how you going to say don't congratulate him la tu bashir la tu bashir how you going to say the time of the congratulation ceremony happening or the place where the congratulation ceremony happening what you call at that time or that place 
Uh, you. No, not you. Mu. It's the same as if it's a maful. Mubashiran. Mubasharun. 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 Okay. So you know two words, right? Bada and lam mean, means what? Badal. Badal. Hmm. What does it mean? Badli kora. To change. Okay. Yeah. And ba, shin, and ra means what? In family two, in allama family. If this word come in allama family, then it means to congratulate. Okay. So ba, ba da, and la means to change, and ba, shin, ra means to congratulate. Okay. okay. And you have to practice it. You know, just two root. Now you can make, I, I can tell like more than 200 word. Okay. So the, the one who congratulate people, what you say, say, say them. To congratulate people? The one, the person who congratulate people. Yubasharun. No, Yubasharun means. Okay, okay. Tabshiran. Tabshiran is the idea of congratulation, but the person who congratulate people is Isam Fail, the one who do the act. Congratulator. Mubashirun. Mubashirun. Okay, Mubashirun. So Mubashirun is a one person who congratulate, right? A singular masculine. How wanna say a female who congratulate people? Okay, Mubashiratun. Why Shiratun? You are not, why you are making it plural? It's Mubashiratun. Yeah. Mubashiratun. So you know, just <laughs> learning one family, you are making so many words, right? So many words. It's not a small thing. And if you know this well, then in Quran, your vocabulary is going to be so less with learning less vocabulary you will uh, know more and more words okay 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 so i will give you some more words to practice by yourself okay if you want to write it down write it down if you want to uh, take a screenshot from the phone do it after uh, when i tell you okay so okay ka the and ba Okay, kaf, the, and ba in this group means uh, to lie. Lie. To lie, yeah. Misamata. To okay. lie. Okay. Uh, then, uh, ain, the, and ba. Adhaba means to punish. Okay. To okay. punish. Okay, to punish. Okay, and uh, swad, da, and kaf means uh, no, it's not sadaka, it's sadaka. Sadaka means to pronounce the truth, to say truth. So how are you gonna say a truthful truthful person? Uh, thus. No, why thus? It's mu 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 mu. mu, mu yeah. Uh, uh, mu ba mus musad da. Why da di? Musaddikun. Musaddikun. You know musaddik. You have any friend called name musaddik, and now you know what their name mean. Right? I, I have some friends who call Mukazib. Mukazib. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> That's deep, man. Okay. So, Musaddik. So, take a snapshot. Okay. Uh, let me do this one too. Baddala means to change. And Bashara means to congratulate. Okay, this is congratulation. I don't want to write the whole thing. 
Okay, do the snap and practice with all those words. And these are very common word in Quran. All of these words are very common in Quran. And I, I can assure you, if you know this word, you can know more than 500 words of Quran easily. Okay? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, and also what you have to do. Today class, uh, we're going to not discuss any more uh, words. Okay? Any more families. We'll stick to this family particularly. And from tomorrow on, we'll do like two or three family at a time. Because you know the concept. If you know the concept, then I what I have to do is just to introduce to you to the concept. No change in any family, nothing. Every family has the same rule, same thing apply until we go to the Masjid, uh, Mujarrad family, the group one, okay? And rest, family two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten is the same, okay? Okay. So... And now your practice is something different. This, this thing, what you have to do, you have to identify which family member it is and uh, what is the root word and then how you gonna uh, make the whole surf sagreed and surf kabir with it, okay? So, tasbihun. Tasbihun. Got it? Tasbihun. You know any family member of this family sound like this one? Tasbihun. Allama family. Uh, which family member? Allama is the family. Okay, I got it. Allama is the family. But every family has the family member, right? Ta'liman. 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 Yes, perfect. It, it was Ta'liman. Okay? It was Nasab. So Ta'liman. Right? Ta'liman. But is this Tasbihun? We can make it Tasbihan, right? So, what is it? Which family member it is? It is the Masdar, right? Yeah. It is the Masdar. So, which is the root word of this word? Tasbih. Uh, yeah, Tasbih is the word, whole word. What is the root letter? We have only three root letter, right? Tasin ba. Why? No. Why tasin ba? Here talim, uh, taliman, right? Taliman. In taliman. Yes, yeah, sin. Ba. Ba. Sin. Ba. Yeah. 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 Here taliman. Yeah, is the root word. No. No. Yeah, ha. Huh. Huh. Why you are confused? Ha. Huh. See that. Uh, let me go back to the chart again. You guys making it confusing. Okay. You have to think and you have to put the every shape inside your head. Okay. Allama. What is the root here? Ain lam and mim, right? Ain lam mim. You allim. What is the root? Ain lam mim. Everywhere ain lam mim is the root, and everything else is extra. And taliman, taliman. The root is ain lam and mim, right? Ta is extra. Ya is extra. Okay, alif is extra. So everything is extra. That's why we we are memorizing all those the family members. Okay. Because once you see a similar pattern like this, uh, you see as B Han, right? Thus, then B and Han. Okay? Thus, B, right? Thus, B, Han. Then you have to match it with Taliman. And if you match it with Taliman, you know Ta is extra. Uh, then you know Ya is extra. And you know alif is extra. So what remain is sin and ba and ha. You got my point? Yeah. That's how you have to practice it. That's how you have to practice it. So go ahead again. Tasbihan. What is the root? Sin ba ha. Sin ba and ha. Then if you sin ba and ha is the root, then how you make it the whole chart? How we Sam, make 
Sabbaha. Sabbaha. Then? Yusabbihu. Yusabbihu. And then? Tasbihan. Tasbihan. Fahuwa? Fahuwa musabbikun. Musabbihun. 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 Okay. Sabbaha means uh, to float or to glorify. Okay. To glorify. So tasbih, you know, you read tasbih every day and now you know where the tasbih come from. Tasbih come from sinba and hat and sinba and it's come from the fail sabbaha. Okay. So every time you do tasbih, you have to <laughs> practice the surf of it too. Okay. Tasbihan. Okay. Okay. Then. Uh, <coughs> Sajjartu. Sajjatu. Which one is it? What do you think? Which uh, uh, if you see Shadda, then it's pretty good exam. It's a pretty good indication that it's from Allama family. Okay, so one thing is the tips. Nothing, not for always, but it's it has a huge chance of being from Allama family. Okay, there is another tips too. What? Yes, we are reading only to the Allama family. None of this word is going to be out of it. Oh, so I have to, I have to be smart like you guys too, to change it from that. But seriously, so if you see a shadda, then it's probably gonna be from Allama family. Okay. And then, uh, which, what kind of word do you think it is? It is Sukun followed by Ta and Tu, particularly. You know Allama? Yeah. Okay. Do the whole conjugation of Allama. Allama you allimuta allima. Not 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 surf. No, I didn't say surf. I say conjugation. Like huwa allama, huma allama, huma allamu. Like this. Huwa allama, huma al. Same, right? Yeah. You forget fel madi. No. Okay. So huwa allama. Huma allama, hum allamu, hiya allamat, huma allamata, hunna allamna, anta allamta, antum allamtuma, antum allamtum, anti allamti, antuma allamtuma, antunna allamtunna, ana allamtu, ana allamtu. The Anna Saja too. Hey, Anna Saja too. In Quran, you're never gonna find like Bada, La, and La. I like saying, okay, this is the Bada and Lam. This is from group family too. And this is Allama family. Make it like this. You're gonna find word like this, okay? And you have to find out what is the root and which group it belongs to. Okay? So, so as it's sound like fel madi right sajjar tu you have to match it with fel madi of this group okay so first bring it to hua form bring it to hua form okay this is an ana form right this is ana form so what you have to do you have to make it to hua form if sajjar tu is ana then what what is the hua sajjata Sajja not ta, ta is sajara, sajara, ta is for ana. Oh yeah, sajara. Sajara, yeah. right, sajara. And now you can compare it. Oh, sajara sound like allama, right? Sajara allama. Now it's match. So it's from allama family, okay? It's from allama family. So go ahead to the sajara. sajara. You said, uh, Sajara, you said, Jaru, 
You said jiru. Allama yu'allimu. Sajjara yu sajjiru. Okay. Then. Tasjiran. Fahuwa musajjirun. Okay. Sujira. Yusajjaru. Tasjiran. Fahuwa musajjarun. Al-amru minhu sajjir. Wa nahi wa anhu la tusajjir. Wa zarfu minhu. Musajjarun. Okay. So you have also. So this word is easy. This practice is easy. And this practice is a little bit difficult. You have to find out all those two. So take a snap or and okay, let me write it down its meaning too. So you have to memorize the meaning also because this is the time uh, to memorize the me meaning also to glorify. I'm not say, uh, saying the meaning of the word. I'm saying the meaning of the root. Okay. Not meaning of the word, meaning of the root to bring under control. The, uh, ah, writing like this is tough. Okay. Then it means to teach. Okay. Um Mukadimatani means send forward to send forward. So this is Allama, right? Which one? No Allim. Yeah. Okay. Tukadibani. Tukadibani to Accuse. Falsely. Okay, to accuse falsely. Okay. So these are the word you have to know. So sabba uh, yusabbi means to glorify. Sajjara yusajjiru means to bring under control. Allama yuallimu to teach. Muqaddimani. Qaddama. Right? Muqaddimu. And kadhaba yu kadhibu to accuse falsely. Okay? I already told you everything. So you have to practice. Inshallah. Inshallah. Okay. So the last thing I want to share with you this is your homework. Okay? Do it. And try to record everything what you are doing because this is not something you need to write. This is something you need to say. So and you listen to it and see what mistake you made implication so implication means the pattern of the word every family has some unique features okay every family has some unique features they are not true for all all the time but most of the time okay you understand what i say the family all family no. okay all the family we're gonna learn today we're gonna learn which family allama family right so every word in allama family tend to have some similar things in them okay and like uh, all the word from this family are generally mutaaddi mutaaddi means it involves two people like allama and the act is falling on someone else like what does allama means to teach right allama he taught allama means he taught so he taught who someone right teaching is not the act is falling on someone else right you are teaching but that the thing you are teaching is falling on the students right so in this group any word this from this group like kazdaba someone is lying right but lying on to someone right so all those words from this family are tend to have mutaaddi. That means the the act is falling on someone else. The action fall on someone else. Okay. 
second implication of this word is this take time all the act of from this uh, families tend to has repetitive action and take a longer period of time like think of the teaching again allama does the allama teaching is just one time and done or it have to do repetitively the action take just one time teaching or and done or you have to teach every day every day every day and it is take a short time or long time to teach something long long time so most of the word from this family the action is repetitive and it takes a long period of time like you can see another example from this group is nazzala nazzala is the same as allama right nazzala means to reveal the quran is revealed right does it re revealed in just yeah. one shot or it take time gradually yeah. slowly and repetitively over a long period of time the quran reveal you understand so this is the implication of this group not always that happened but most of the time it's happened okay and it's also imply hyperbole it's also implied to emph emphasizing some more something okay like hyperbole uh, in some cases uh, like if you see this two word katala okay katala katala normally means katala means kill normally katala means kill what kill if you use katala in this group family two katala the shadda is cause emphasis so if katala simply means kill then katala means kill massively okay if katala means yes okay okay go ahead no no tell, tell me no problem okay so katala means kill just kill maybe one person katala, katala means katala. he kill katala means he kill it is from family one i told you like same root in different family will mean differently so katala is family one and it means he killed just simply he killed but katala also means it's from family which family two right allama family when it's come to allama family it also mean he killed right he killed but he killed massive okay okay so that happens sometimes not always but in some cases what about if it is come on group family three it's, it would mean something differently okay okay so these are the some common observation of the group okay common observation of the group so one thing is the act is falling on someone else right you are doing the act but the act is falling on someone else second one is it take time it is repetitive and it take time and third one is it imply hyperbole like it like emphasize stuff okay so do the practice yeah. Okay, inshallah. See you guys tomorrow. Rabbana taqabbal minna inna kanta samimu lalima tuba alayna ya maulana inna kanta tawabur rahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Wa alaikum assalamu wa rahmatullah.